I bought this soldering iron right here. It was actually only $8 when I bought it off of eBay. And it comes with the soldering iron, like six different tips, some solder, solder, I don't know how to say it. And this pump thing that you can like suck up the solder when you're desoldering with it. And full disclosure, I don't know what the hell I'm doing with soldering, but I did buy this for $8, uh, replaced the, the mouse switches, and got it to work. Another thing you could do, like if you're just trying to, you know, fix like a double clicking issue, or maybe you just want to try out different switches, you can actually buy like the, just the board itself with different with switches already on it. So that's actually a lot easier. You can get them off AliExpress for $13. And you can get them for less, but this one here you can actually choose between four different types of switches. Like this right here has the cow reds, which I used, and then I don't know what these other ones got some blue ones. You get these off of eBay too, you get them off AliExpress, you probably get them in like two weeks. Um, just look what kind of shipping you're using. I'll leave links where you can get all this stuff. The eBay ones will be affiliate links. I've got another video on how to disassemble the mouse. And another video is going to come out. I think I'll probably put it out a bit. A few days after this video that shows you how to reassemble the mouse. But you don't need to fully disassemble it to change the switches. All you need to do is take the base off. And then there's four screws on the bottom like in the middle that hold down the right and left clicks. And then you're going to pull out the right and left clicks and then you have access to the board with the switches on it and then there's just four screws that hold on the board and then like a little ribbon electrical connector thing that goes in there that you have to remove and if you're wondering uh how these the kyle red switches feel compared to the the ones that come on it there really isn't that much difference i think maybe they sound maybe like a tiny bit louder and I actually watched Bearded Bob's video. He did tests and he said that the red ones had like took the least amount of force to push down. But actually, to me, they feel like they take a tiny bit more force to put down. But I mean, there's really barely any difference. Like you're not really going to notice it. You don't have to take the mouse fully apart. Separate the bottom, take the right and left click off and you have access to that board. That's how the pump works. You just press it down. You put it over the solder and then press the button and it'll suck it up. There's uh, four different tips there. There's a, the one on the soldering iron. That other one is smaller, but I couldn't really get that one to work. You can adjust the temperature. Uh, quick Google search. People said about 350 degrees uh, is good, so that's what I use. You know, Correct me if there's a better temperature for doing this. I don't really know. I just search Google really quick and just use the first temperature that popped up. And yeah, that smaller tip didn't really seem to work, even though it would be better. It seemed like it wasn't getting hot enough. So what you want to do is just leave it on there for a second. Wait till the solder just like melts, you'll see it turn to liquid. And then you wanna put the pump over it real quick and then just press the button so it sucks it up. And solder will kinda of come off and get stuck to the tip of the soldering iron. You can use the pump to clean the tip off also. And after a while, two little bits of solder will fall out of the tip and like back on to what you're trying to remove the solder from. Um, you can take it apart and empty it out, the whole thing works. So th there's how you take it apart. So you can do that and then just empty it out real quick if stuff starts falling out of it. You just want to go ahead and get to all three of them. You're not going to be able to get all the solder out of it, but just get like most of it, what you can with the with the pump thing. You can see how it's just like turning a liquid there and then just sucking it up. And then what you want to do is kind of go around and you can even put the soldering iron like just on the tip of that pin until like, the solder gets soft and you you can push it like you can see i can push the pins around to where they're wiggling and then you want to put like a little flathead screwdriver in between the uh the switch and the board and just gently you can just turn the screwdriver and just pry it off and just keep doing that it helps if you're a lot quicker with it or maybe like even if you have like two people you could kind of be have the de have the soldering thing on the pin and getting it soft and then have the screwdriver in there at the same time because the thing is the solder will dry up and and I, that looked really easy just because i edited it but it takes forever i mean you got to sit there with it and just keep kind of softening it up and slowly separating it and here's the new one you want to put the switch part forward So like the little button part goes forward like where the scroll wheel is. <clears throat>
and I was using the solder like just having it out of there but I realized there's a little hole in the holder you can pull it out of so I'm just showing how to do that and I really don't know what I'm doing here <laughs> how you're supposed to do it but I did get it to work I mean just putting just kind of holding the solder up to it and just melting it till a little bit gets on there and one thing I did mess up is I did test it to make sure it's working before I put it all the way back together but then once I got in the game I was playing when I was holding down the right click to stay scoped in it was kind of like scoping in and out kind of almost randomly and I took it back apart and realized that the that the right switch was a little loose on the board it was like too wobbly so I went back and like re-soldered it and then it worked fine and got it to where it wasn't as wobbly like if you check, even the ones that come on at factory will be a little bit wobbly on the board, but you want to really solder it on there as good as you can and get it so they're nice and sturdy. Before you uh, go ahead and put it all the way back together, I would just like put one screw holding the board with the switches on it onto the mouse, plug in that board, and then just uh, take the bottom and then just plug in that ribbon thing and the battery and then I would even load up a video game and just make sure that it works good. Take an auto rifle, hold down the left click and make sure it just stays firing the whole time. It's not losing contact and then stay aim down sights with the right click and make sure it's just staying aim down sights and you're not losing contact with that. And I would just make sure that those work before you go ahead and put it all the way back together. Snipey.